In the previous video, we were introduced to polynomials and, and how to utilize polynomials. So now in this video, we're going to be learning how to split up polynomials into two different quantities that when multiplied yield the same expression. Now if that sounded confusing, that's okay, just st stick with me here. You're going you're gonna to understand exactly how to do this at the end of this video. So let's say we have the polynomial x squared plus 7x plus 6, and we want to split this equation or this expression into two different quantities. In other words, uh, uh, some. In other words, something times something that yields this same thing. So now let's try and do that. So the first step is to to we're going to use the x method in this video. So the first step is to draw an x, and we place this value, which which in um, which in the polynomials with degrees of 2 is called the c value. So we're going to place this value on top of the x. So the 6 goes here. And then we place the b value or the coefficient of the second term, usually the second term if it's written in standard form, on the bottom of the x, x that we drew. So 6 goes on top, 7 on the bottom. And now what we do is we look for two different numbers that when multiplied yield 6 and that when added yield 7. So once again, stick with me here. So in this case, those two numbers are going to be 6. Let me write it in a different color. In this case, those two numbers will be 6 and 1. So... 6 times 1 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So once again, let's rewind. We're looking for two numbers that when multiplied yield 6, or yield the top number, and when added, yield the bottom number, which in this case is 7. Now these two values are the factors for this expression. So 6 and 1. So now we can go ahead and write our factors. So we have x plus, let me write the same color, x plus 6 times, times x plus 1. So let me, once again, same color. So these two are our factors for this expression. Now what we did here is split up this, this expression, which was initially x squared plus 7x plus 6, into two different quantities as, as when you multiply them, you would get the same thing here. So now uh, let's, let's prove that. So if, if we multiply this out by, by using FOIL method, so we multiply everything by everything, then we, we should get the same thing here. So first step is... Let me actually, so first step is uh, x times x, which is x squared. Sec let, me, let me write it in the, the same yellow color that we have on top. So x times x is x squared. Second is x times 1. So x times 1, which is just x. And then we have 6 times x, which is 6x. And then our last Last term is 6 times 1, which is 6. And as we simplify this, that turns into 7x. As we simplify it and rewrite the whole thing, we, we notice that it is the same exact expression here. 